So we were at the Snapdragon Tech Summit in Hawaii a few days back where Qualcomm announced the Snapdragon 865, the chipset that will power flagship smartphones in 2020. Now during my time there, I was also given a reference device running on the Snapdragon 865 to see just how fast the upcoming smartphones will run using the new chipset. And we did exactly that. We ran the same benchmarks we have been running on phones this year to test out the performance to see how big of a difference it makes having the 865 in your phone. And frankly, it left us quite surprised. But before we get there, here are a few things you need to know about the Snapdragon 865. The Snapdragon 865 is manufactured on TSMC 7 nanometer N7P process, the same process that is used to make Apple's A13 Bionic chipset. This time, Qualcomm has retained the CPU architecture from the Snapdragon 855 and there's a 2.84 GHz Prime Core running on the Cryo 585, three Cortex-A77 powered mid-cores clocked at 2.4 GHz and three Cortex-A55 powered efficiency cores clocked at 1.8 GHz. So heavy tasks like games, recording 4K videos and more will be handled by the Prime Core while slightly heavier tasks like editing a photo will be handled by the mid cores and everything else will be processed by the efficiency cores. The Snapdragon 865 also uses the new Adreno 650 GPU that now supports 144Hz displays, 10-bit HDR and 90 frames per second gaming. You will also get regular GPU driver updates on the Google Play Store. Qualcomm claimed the CPU and GPU on the Snapdragon 865 are around 25% faster and 25% more power efficient. Apart from the CPU and GPU, the Snapdragon 865 also boasts of a new ISP capable of delt crunching 2 gigapixels per second and enable 8K video recording. And among other things, there's a new AI engine that's now much faster, more efficient and can do things like in-call live translation. Now finally, the Snapdragon 865 will have to be paired with the Snapdragon X55 5G modem, so rest assured most flagship phones launching next year will be 5G ready. Now did the geek in you just sit up and pay attention? Well, wait till we show you the benchmarks. On the reference device, we ran Antutu, Geekbench CPU, GFX Bench and PC Mark each a couple of times to have a realistic idea of the scores you're going to get next year. Note that this was a reference device and the scores will be different on a commercial unit when it eventually launches. But this did give us a good idea as to what to expect from flagships next year. On Antutu, the Snapdragon 865 powered reference device clocked in 541,899 points in the second run, while Geekbench single core and multi core CPU benchmarks scored at 933 and 3473 respectively. We also ran PCMark Work 2.0, where the Snapdragon 865 powered device clocked in 12,386 points. We also tested the GPU performance using GFX Bench off-screen benchmarks, where the 1440p Aztec Ruins delivered 1298 frames, while the 1080p Car Chase delivered 2960 frames, and the 1080p Manhattan off-screens delivered 5428 frames. Now these numbers by themselves, they don't mean much. But if you compare it against the fastest smartphone of 2019, here's how it fares. So as you can see, Snapdragon 70 Pro powered by the Snapdragon 855 Plus, the Snapdragon 865 scores were about 11% better on Antutu, 15 to 18% better on Geekbench CPU, and around 14% better on PC Mark Work 2.0. The Adreno 650 GPU, when compared against the enhanced Adreno 640 on the OnePlus 70 Pro, was around 7-9% to faster on GFX Bench off-screen tests. Now looking at the scores with added context, the Snapdragon 865 doesn't seem to be as fast as Qualcomm is claiming it to be. Qualcomm claimed an impressive 25% boost in CPU and GPU performance, but we are only seeing around 15% boost in CPU and around 9% boost in GPU performance. So there you have it. We have the deeds, we have the benchmark scores, and we also gave you a quick comparison. But don't take these scores as is. We tested the chipset's performance in a reference device, which lacks the necessary optimizations that makes phones like the OnePlus 70 Pro run like a race car. We expect the Snapdragon 865 to be further optimized as well, 
So we might be seeing higher scores in the actual devices that will launch in 2020. Now, if you want to know more about the Snapdragon 865, you can head to the link in the description. And for more videos like this, stay tuned to Digital.in. Thank you.